new Raspberry Pi kits. Ooh, let me just get a bit more comfortable. Oh, oh, oh. Ooh. Well, hello. You may have seen me before. My name is Babbage the Bear, and I look, I am the mascot of the Raspberry Pi Foundation. So, um, have you seen this Raspberry Pi starter kit before? No? Well, let's go and unbox the Raspberry Pi oh, starter kit. Okay, um, fancy helping me? Hello, yeah, let's see if we can do this together. Okay, so let's unbox the Raspberry Pi cube. Great idea. Okay, so I'll climb down again. Okay, so this is a Raspberry Pi starter kit. Um, this, I've just picked this up this afternoon. Never seen one before. Well, actually I saw pictures, but um, yeah. And of course I'm recording this on my Raspberry Pi with the Pi cam. So, you want to see what's inside this box. So, you get this nice glossy box that has like all sorts of different ideas and sketches and things on the front. And then down the outside, it's got a list of all the contents that you get inside. You know what? Maybe I should cover them because they'll spoil what's going to happen. Now, we actually had a bit of a family row this evening because my daughter spotted this in the back of the car and she started unboxing it, which was spoiling it for me a little bit. So, I I asked her to put it back in the box. Teenage daughter, eh? So, Babbage, you can sit here and watch because um, you don't have opposable thumbs, and I do, so this is going to help us unbox the Raspberry Pi. So, my name is Alan O'Donoghue. Um, I'm on Twitter. I'm Techno Teacher, T E K N O Teacher, and I'm a teacher in a high school. And what I'm trying to do at the moment is I'm trying to help lots of people see the potential of computer science through using platforms like the Raspberry Pi and at the moment, I travel up and down the country helping teachers understand about computer science, computing, and how they can make it more of a, a focus in their schools. And I also help set up these things called Raspberry Jams, where people come together of all um, ages and sizes because they want to figure out what you can do with the Raspberry Pi. Now, one thing a lot of people have done is they've gone out and they've bought a Raspberry Pi and they get it and they go, hmm, it's just a circuit board and they don't really know what to do with it. Some people, theirs is still in the box and they haven't done anything with it. Hopefully, this may help change things. So, let's open the box and see what's inside. So, you don't really need to look at me because you've seen what I look like. So, here we go. So, first thing is, you just open the box like this. And it's good, good solid, sturdy size. And uh, inside, we have a keyboard. Um, a US keyboard, USB keyboard, and it's got mm, probably, I guess, let's see, have a look, how many meters? Okay, oh, probably, I don't know, somewhere between one and two meters, maybe even one, two meters cable, and we, on some, oh, ah, so that's something I haven't thought of. The, the plastic bag allows the cable to come through, so. You could use it as a protective sleeve for when you're not using it. Okay, I'm not sure mine's going to last that long. So we've got, oh, this is quite a nicely light keyboard, probably weighs about two or three hundred grams. Um, not put it in yet, but we've got some navigation buttons at the top. Oh, I've got a power button. But nice light keyboard there. Okay, quite easy for small fingers and hands to use. So let's move the keyboard to one side. And then we've also got a booklet. Okay, so this booklet's called A Bite of Pie, and it says it's been produced by CPC for families. So we open it inside, and we've got um, a tick list. So it's an inventory of all the things you should expect to find inside. Oh, and then we've got a sort of, what would you call it, a taxonomy of the Raspberry Pi, like a diagram with all different parts labeled, and we've got some characters on here. And this opens again. Oh. And now we've got a project map, which opens and oh, recognize some of these different features on here. Uh, and it opens again. And this time, okay. So what we've got is here, we've got all sorts of projects you can use to light up an LED, get the LED to flash. There's some Python code there. Um, okay, there's a thesaurus. Ah, I see what they've done. They've got lots of words like breadboard, female, Python with little stars next to them. 
I'm sure people don't really need to know what the word female means, but maybe, ah, in the context, plug the female end onto pin one. And then here we've got our thesaurus with all those words. And what's female? So these are the names for different ends of a wire connector. Okay, so we've established what male and female are. Okay, so and it's got some other little things you can do at the back of that. What else have we got? We've got a oh, we've got a book, and this is called Raspberry Pi, and the author is Mike McGraw. Helps put the fun back into computing. Full color, plain English, and it mentions Python, C, Perl, BBC. Ooh, okay, I wonder if it's got all those things in there. Uh, cover price of ten pound ninety nine in the UK. One hundred and ninety two pages, including the index. We've got um, directory there of the header pins, how to light lamps and outputs, layouts, images. What was that? Polling, polling, radio buttons. So lots of tutorials there. See lots of use of graphic user interface. What we're we using there. Um, Pi game. Okay. So lots of different chapters and sections there and I'm sure you could put oh and some scratch and I'm sure if you looked somewhere like Amazon you'd probably get a preview of the book to see exactly what kind of things are in there and then we've got some of the more simple things like how to get your desktop working and log into your Raspberry Pi. So we've got a book and we've got another layer inside the box so we'll remove ooh okay aha so let's have a look at what we've got inside so we've got a sticker so if you're using something that's got another fruit on it other than raspberries, it might be that you might want to proudly display this sticker onto your MacBook or Blackberry or whatever it is that you're using. And what have we got here? Ooh, is this what I think it is? So we've got, it looks like a, a drawstring duffel bag. Ah, yes. And it's got the Raspberry Pi logo on there. So it could be um, a nice little place to take this person on holiday with you. Okay, so we put this over there. We, what else have we got? So we've got a, a two meter HDMI cable. It's a good standard, uh, kind of open this here so you can see. We live here with fairly standard HDMI connections. So that's going to be okay if you've got a, a display that's compatible with HDMI. Otherwise you may have to buy another little accessory, the Pi View. We have an optical mouse, which says it's compatible with Mac and Windows, so I'm guessing it's also compatible with the Raspberry Pi. Let's have a look at our mouse inside just to see. So, so in this kind of stuff, we can pop the bubbles in later on. And so there's our optical mouse with about, I don't know, I guess one or two, one to two meters of cable on there. And then we've got these little bags, which you can see have got the CPC logos on. Ah! So we have here a Raspberry Deluxe case, and I think this is the Syntec model here, so let's just open that. And okay, so we seem to be kind of in the, is it, would you say it's pink, or would you say it's Raspberry? Well, it's just it's kind of a bit of a blend, so okay. Ah, and this is the model that your, your little LEDs on the Raspberry Pi board will display through here, so you can see what's going on. And Good, offers a good level of protection there for the ports that go into the Raspberry Pi. Um, some four little screws so we can fasten the case shut. And then in here we have, it says on the bag, it's a Raspberry Pi with an 8 gigabyte SD card. So we open this up and we find out what model of Raspberry Pi we've got inside. So, so here is our SD card. Um, it's one of these ones where if you've got another device, you can remove, it's got a smaller um, compact version of, it's the micro SD card, which then slides into the, and I guess this has got noobs on it. And then we have an Element 14 packaged Raspberry Pi inside. Okay. And we have sort of standard insert you get compliance with safety information. We'll go back in the box. Um, we'll open this oh. What do you think it's going to be an A, a B? Dun, dun, dun. Aha. It's the Model B and it's the made in the UK version. So this is the one that's come from Pontypridd in Wales. So we've got all our standard 
Raspberry Pi Model B, and it's the one with the upgraded memory, so that means you've got 512 megabytes of RAM on there. And still in the box, we've got some other things we're looking behind. Let's, let's have a look at what you see. So, ah, okay, so here we have a USB power cable. Now, just while we're talking about this, something I don't know if you've discovered with the USB um, power cables is okay so it's anti-clockwise to undo the wire wrap now if you are plugging your raspberry pi into a standard such a flat screen tv using the hdmi connection the clever way of powering your pi is to connect you'll probably find your tv has got a usb outlet on it and then you can just connect the other end of this to your raspberry pi and then you've got power from your tv so how long have we got there we've got i would say that's about a meter in length and ooh, we have the pie. Oh, mm. so let's have a look. Okay, so this box is sealed. So let me just reach for something to help. So using a steak knife, and the correct procedure should be to um, cut away. Now I'm going to do the mess away. And I think it may. Oh, yeah, it's glued as well. So for added. Oh my gosh, I don't know if this box is going to close again after I've opened it. Wow. Okay. Um, okay. Good job, Babbage, let me take over here, because that would have made a very entertaining video. I'm going to find out in a moment if we open the wrong end of the box or something. Yeah, lots of uh, sticky tape on there. Okay, and in this box, wow, look at that. That's the Raspberry Pi hub. So we've got a. Um, let me, let me see that again, don't try this at home, folks. <laughs> Using a knife to cut away from myself and then into the Pi hub. Look at that. Isn't that just. You really, really want one of these. Um, we've got a little power inlet there, and we've got a USB connection. Ah. And a cable, of course, to plug through that. We've got one, two, three, four. So if you're using this hub with the with the Raspberry Pi, and you plug it into one of the USB, and your keyboard and mouse in there, you've effectively got an extra two um, outlets on the Raspberry Pi USB hub, and you've still got a spare one on here as well. So that's quite handy. And still in the box, we have um, okay, with a power adapter. So this would be if you're not powering your Raspberry Pi from the USB. So we have a, what is this? This is the Pi Moroni versus Syntec power supply. It delivers 5.2 volts and 3 amps. And again, without unwrapping this, I guess we've got about 1 to 2 meters there of DC cable. Oh, and there's still some more in the box. Ooh, very noisy. Lots of banging things on the table. What have we got left in the box? Ah, now this is something I haven't seen before. So we have a zip sealed bag. And in this bag, if let me just tilt it like this, and we can go away. Okay, we've got okay, lots of small fiddly little bits. So we have a. Okay, so we've got a diagram here of a breadboard with some LEDs, and it's shown us which the polarity of the LEDs. It's got a, ah, okay, so there's a URL there to a traffic light project, and, and they've got little scissor symbols, so I think they're expecting you to cut these out. And here we have a program written in Python, and it looks like what it's doing yeah, I guess it's making the LEDs work in the traffic light sequence. Okay. Oh, and these are pretty big LEDs. So if you look using my finger as a reference, you can see they're the jumbo LEDs. We've got some little resistors. Um, look at the colours on them. I think they're 75 ohms. Oh, little tactile switch. Okay, we have another resistor there. Possibly round black. Orange, oh, so that'll be a 10k resistor. And then we, oh, here are our female to male connectors. And there's our little breadboard. So, there you have it. So, that is the Raspberry Pi starter kit.
which has oops, let me see if can pop it can together again. And you're probably losing your attention now at this road, but the bit where you're gonna click off the video of the right I've seen. So there we are. The Raspberry Pi starter kit. And the thing to look out for if you want them to get one of these, it's got a little CPC logo there on the bottom. I think from memory, I think the price is around about I think it's just under hundred pounds with VAT included. So if you're if you're able to buy things exempt from VAT, you're probably going to get that for around about eighty pounds. And lots of helpful information here written on the side of the box. It tells you what a Raspberry Pi is in case you you, you pick this up in the shop and you expect to find something else inside it. Everything you need to build a traffic light system. Some little helpful images showing what's in the box and uh, and they've usefully left. The back of the box blank so that if you want, you're, 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 you're somewhere, uh, your car breaks down, you can write a little message on the back that says please, or you can pitch a lift to somewhere as well at the same time. Well, thank you very much for listening. If you want to find out more about the Raspberry Pi or Jams, you can send a message to me, Alan O'Donoghue, on Twitter, T E K N O, teacher, and uh, goodbye. Oh, I forgot somebody. Bye.